Hello everyone, welcome back to Manor Lords. We have started our journey and we are already up to a large village doing all the early game things. We've already taken out all of the bandit camps. So now we're going to try to expand just a little bit and get more of the advanced structures done. However, before doing that, I do have a point left over. I was trying to think where I wanted to go with it. A lot of these aren't great. They aren't unlocked yet. And these I don't really want to touch up here. They're really just not that any good. And I'd like to get armoring, but I think when it comes down to it, I'm really going to have to go with charcoal burning. And firewood is going to normally be a little bit of a problem in the game. I would really love to get foreign supplies and beekeeping for some extra things. And I do really want to get into trapping because meat is going to be a problem for me. I already know it's going to here soon, but I really think we have to get charcoal online. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that one. And now we need to find a spot for it. I'm thinking I'm probably going to put it right down in here. And we'll put our kiln down. I'm trying to figure out where I was going to put it. I think we probably should go right near here. Not getting it in a really good spot. Well, it's getting kind of close to the animals. But I really wanted to leave this open because I'm going to have to start getting some of this stuff here. And there's no real good spot for it. So I think, yeah, I'm going to put it right there. That's going to allow us now to really bump this up. We've only got 10 months of fuel, but it's kind of going to double it. And we're going to need that really soon. That'll bring us up to where we are currently at with food. So with that out of the way, let us go ahead and unpause. And now what we're going to do is we're going to continue building for our next village. Well, actually, it's a small town. So what we want to do is we want to build two more plots. And which I'm thinking I'm going to build the plots here. And then I'm going to probably build two more there. And then I think we're going to put a well and a market here. I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. All right, there's our two. There we go. First one's done. We got to wait for that to get done. Take a look at the map real quick. Oh, hello. I didn't even notice that. All right. Get those guys rallying. And of course, take them off run at the computer loves to do automatically so we'll get those guys moving and we got those two plots there now what we need to build is a two plot that is 3d so we're going to now but we gotta go we gotta figure out how deep this is gonna go not want to go right does it oh it just doesn't want to sit right almost all right that still doesn't look far enough all right that does look better we're gonna go with that that is going to be for our vegetables. Where you guys at? And watch for them because I don't see the AI going after them yet. All right, so that is going to be just more homes. That is going to be for our vegetable gardens. All right, so these need to be chicken coops. Those are upgraded. Where are they at? All right, so they're right there. And then we need three of these with goat sheds. Those are done. Now we got to kind of do is watch this because now we're moving into this territory. Okay, is that? Get them going. Oh, this doesn't look right. Now look at that. It's kind of off a little bit. I was like wondering what was going on there. So while we're moving forward, all we're doing is watching for them. It's going to be in the forest. All right, they are coming out. We need to get into position go right we can go into here stand our ground where are they at oh they're coming in so we'll wait for them to come into us they're down to 95 percent effectiveness we're up to 116 percent oh we actually have a guy missing okay i didn't realize that this shouldn't take too long Yeah, they're almost done. Come on, finish them off. Okay, those guys are done. Get down to this camp. And what I want to do is, is this time, I want to make it local wealth because we need to upgrade. So thankfully the AI didn't come after this and there shouldn't be any others on the map. That should be it. Come on down here, good boys. 
and then I could probably run them back. There's nothing else on the map. We don't need them. How are they doing? Now they look like they're full. I don't know why it showed that they weren't before. But yeah, we're going to run this under local economy, money, gold, whatever you want to call it, because we need that. Okay. So not into my treasury, but to the nearest town. All right, bring these guys back. And we can have them run. All right, so they have not upgraded these yet. And it doesn't help that our guys are not there. We need to get our guys back because they need to get building. And then soon we're going to have these guys, the Forester Hut also. Then that's going to start making trees right around here where we're going to be able to take everything. All right, band. Okay, they're gone. Now we got our workers back. We got to get this stuff built. Stuff is just not getting done. How many logs do we have? Oh, we don't have logs. Okay, so that's the raiders that are going to come out. That's our preparation telling us that, hey, the end game is coming. The first end game part. What are these guys doing? Oh, they're putting trees down, but see, they're so far out. They're way out here. I would love to get an ox, but I think we need to save our money. I need to just make sure at timber, we got planks. Although we are going to need planks. We're going to need tiles. All right, so we're going to go with a cobbler. No, that's not done yet. Uh, is that done? We're gonna have to upgrade. Let's go, go. That axe really needs some sharpening. I only upgraded five, didn't I? Oh, I upgraded the level twos, didn't I? Yeah, I think that was my problem. I put the coops and everything in the level twos. Is that a level two? That's a level two. All right, we need a cobbler. All right, there. Now we're gonna have shoes. Okay, so now what we have is we're gonna have trading. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we are going to start getting rid of shoes. We're going to get ready for our ale production right now. That, though, is under construction. Wow, five plank. Forester isn't even made. I need to get some of these people off of here. So it's time to start doing some of the... Nobody in there. I um, think I'm going to have to... Where do we need to get rid of people? Okay, so the burger plot is done. Where are all my people at? Right, so start getting rid of some of these people. I gotta, you know, start getting this stuff built. So we're pulling a bunch of people off up here. And I don't... We're gonna need planks, but I think for now, we're just gonna pull everybody off of there. Now we got six people working. We gotta get the Forester Hut done. Uh, we have to get that cobbler going because we're gonna be exporting shoes. What I'm going to do is I got to build a market down there. These guys down here aren't going to have really good. So we're going to end up building a market right here to cover these guys and then a well. Because we'll put a few more down here. But we need to get this stuff built. They're building it nice, though. Nice and quick. We got to keep firewood going. Actually, did we build that already? Oh, it's already built. Oh, that has to go. We got to put somebody on that. All right, cobbler shop is done. Forester hut is done. So now that guy's going to start planting trees. Going to be making this much more efficient. Yeah, most of them are going really good now. You can see they're being built quick. In fact, I think this the last one that has to be built, probably. And I think all the builders are done. All right, berries are back. I want to get somebody on that. So I don't think we actually have a lot of berries. Well, let's set up the trading post. All right, so trade, commodities. First thing we want is shoes. So we're going to establish that trade route. Then we want to export shoes, and we'll leave ourselves with a 10 reserve. Then crop, barley, and we want to import. And do I have any level 2s left? I made that big mistake. Really, really big mistake. I wasn't supposed to make these chicken coops level 2. They were supposed to be level 1s. And that's the cobbler. Yeah, those all got upgraded. That's a really bad mistake on my part because i need a level two so we're gonna have to all right first let's make this a brewery oh we have to be level two to be a brewery all right well we're gonna have to upgrade it all right that one is done we need a brewery so now we're preparing to make our beer we got the trading post going which is bringing in flies so now we need to build a malt house and we're going to build it of course near here malt house goes here once that gets built it will be staffed with someone and then wow we do not have a good spot wow 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 this is not good i didn't leave a good spot for the malt house um god do i put it here yeah i did not leave myself a good spot i should have moved i guess I mean, I could put it right here. I don't know where else. 
put that? It needs to be near the trading post and near the house. Yeah, I'm I'm really not happy with what I did, but I don't honestly see another way around this. I hope this isn't too much of a new play, but I just don't see any other way around it. It's got to be close to the houses and it's got to be close to the trading post. So I'm actually holding stall. We got, I don't know if we have any yet. Oh, wait a minute, that's export. Oh, geez. Oh, it's doing import. Another new play. They're going... We are going to need planks here really soon. All right, so we got, we got four families going. All right, so now we actually need to get ale. Okay, that's done. Oh, well, that's everything for the ale production. That's all finished. So the next thing now while this is going on, what we have to do is we want to upgrade our church. What we're doing is preparing to get all these plots to level three because that is the requirement that we are going to need. We got to get one more burger plot updated to upgraded, I should say. And then we got to get some level threes and then that will allow us to get a small town. So to get a church, first thing we, we got to get clay. We got to get stone. So we've got the clay there. All right, so we're going to need a mining pit. Get that there. I don't know if you have to actually build a road to that. I am not certain of that. Oh, right there. I don't think I built it. No, I didn't. There. All right, so that will get us our clay. Now we need to actually get our stone. Stone cutters camp. I don't think we have to go on top of the stone cutters. I don't think it needs to be. Those two are going. I probably should have moved that because we're going to have to build a clay furnace. Probably wasn't the smartest move. And what I could do is I could build a road. Is it a road? What I'm thinking is we could build a stone cutters camp there. And now we're going to build, uh, hopefully the, will it actually fit? No, it actually won't fit. I should be destroying this first. All right, so I changed my mind how I'm going to do this. Because it just wasn't right. We'll put the stone cutter's camp here. We're going to put the, uh, whatever it is, clay furnace, clay furnace, we're going to put that right there. So that is all done. I think we're all finished and just need to wait for them to build. Yeah, we got to wait to get stone and clay convert it over and then that's what we're going to go ahead and upgrade to get once we have the church it's just a couple upgrades and we'll be up to a small town we gotta do one more level two three level threes and then we'll be done we're gonna then start our expansion over here i hope we got enough money because i did make those mistakes especially i was actually importing shoes not exporting so that wasn't good and I, hopefully i didn't burn through all my money you can see how they're already starting to put down trees so these camps are now going to go much faster all right so uh, why has it got to be raining we are going to need planks they still haven't built the mining pit yeah we got to wait for all this stuff to build i'm thinking i should upgrade this almost full so yeah, we just need to wait for all this stuff to get built. Oh wow, I actually built that in the wrong spot. That's why I built that near the iron. I can actually get rid of this now. Stone cutters can go right here. There we go. It's actually by the stone now. This is what I wanted to do a playthrough in which I'm actually kind of new to the game. So when it hits you guys on Friday, because this should come out before Friday's release, then you guys will kind of feel the same way. It, you know, I think Strat said it perfect when he said, you know, don't be in such a rush to get things done. You're going to be fine. You're going to be able to take care of everything. But if you just follow his little guide and, you know, take notes on it, what you need to do, you're going to have a good time. So we're just going to wait for this to build up and we'll be good to go. And that's going to speed it up right now. All right, our tavern is done. However, we're going to wait to store it because our stock of person in there because we need to worry about this first. I only got two people left. I don't, shouldn't have anybody in the... I do have somebody in Granary. Uh, that's with the malt. Uh, that's where I'm bringing that malt down here. I don't think it auto stocks. But we need to get the malt house going. I only got two people available. And Stonecutter is done. I've got to pull somebody off somewhere. We got one. One. I don't need a forge. We're going to get the malt house going. And I'm going to have to get this going here. That and the tavern that should be it we're gonna have to store yeah that's done mining pit is finished we need stone well that's clay i mean we have that's actually going to go into our clay furnace 
We don't have we have to build a clay furnace. I got one person left building. We do not have enough stone. Ah, oh, that's what we're waiting on a stone. So I gotta wait on the stone to finish that. So we got somebody going out collecting that right now. Once we get that built, we build a clay furnace, which that will make us our tiles. So we could start doing our upgrades here, especially to this right here. So we need 10 roof tiles, 10 planks, 20 stone, and five wood then we'll upgrade that and that's kind of your prerequisites that are needed to upgrade these to level three although i don't have money that's kind of a problem i don't have much how are the shoes doing i've got 34 now i don't honestly think it's making a lot of money because i don't actually think i have money to upgrade not enough wealth i don't have money that could be a problem I do need to upgrade this as well. It's up to 180 already. I should probably get this upgraded. I need the space. I'm going to run out. Although, was it smarter to do that or build a second one? Now I honestly can't remember. Alright, I'm just going to have to upgrade it. There's just nothing I can do. I'm about to get full on that. And I don't think... I Do I need to have somebody transporting that? I don't know if that gets transported to the tavern. I honestly cannot remember. I'm... Full? Ooh, I'm full. Okay, that's not good. I mean, we're about to upgrade the, these to level 3. Once you upgrade them, but I can't actually upgrade them to level 3 right now. The ones that I wanted to upgrade to level 3 are going to end up being the vegetable garden. But yeah, I'm starting to run into those logistic issues that you're going to come out with your playthroughs. Right, that's upgrading right now. But yeah, this is the stuff that you're going to go, oh, wait a minute. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to do this? You know, in what order? That's what you're going to start running into. And that's what I'm running into. All right, what are we doing right now? All right, fuel is not the best. We do have charcoal going, but yeah, fuel is not really going good. So I'm wondering if I should put a second person. I just don't have the people right now. I do need to expand, but yeah. The food is good, but it is fuel. We've only got one on the woodcutter's lodge. I actually have wood there. That needs to be pulled. Oh, this is upgrading. Okay, now we can get our clay furnace down go that will allow us to get out of the tiles that we need what do we have yep we just need tiles and stone we have the wood and we have the planks i want to put these to tier three though i do want to upgrade these because those are the ones that should have been done the wealth is going to be the problem don't have wealth right now and i don't think my shoes are actually selling that good. Uh, wow, I'm up to 62 shoes. They just do not want to sell. I don't know if you can give him... There's a way that you can manually have it so he... Uh, an animal to travel with. Because I'm just not selling shoes. I wish I could figure out why, but... I don't know. Hunting camp. Yeah, that's why I took him off there. And I got two guys now on the kiln. We're down to six months of fuel. So I got two guys onto there converting it over. We've got this upgraded now. So it's got 2,500 capacity. I forget if it had 200 or 250. Look at that. It was about done. I'm not too much worried about that. I have a guy getting stone right now. That is pretty close. I think he's pretty close to being done. I don't think he needs much more than 32. We could probably take him off of there because I think it only needs 25. Four? I think it's only 24 right now, so we should probably take him off of there. And that way he can make sure that he's helping to build, because we need to get this clay furnace, because we have to get our tile. That's, I think, the only thing we're waiting on for the church. Yeah, tiles. Once we have the 10 tiles, we're good to go. You know, I got the clay. We just need to get this done. Once this is done, we get the clay done, we can upgrade the church. And then we just have those three plots that we have. We're going to upgrade the level twos. These, pro these right here are going to go to level 2. How much, what do they take? It's just wood. Hmm. Did I do that now? How much wood do I have? We've got 20. How much does this take? Oh, it only takes 5. I should upgrade these right now then. Wait a minute. I didn't do these yet? Oh, I didn't. Alright, so let's upgrade these. Those are going to be my vegetable gardens. So we'll upgrade these, put these as vegetable gardens. These are actually going to go to level 3. How many level 3s do you have to have? Is three or four three of them both of these are going to go to level three and then once that's finished it's kind of end game scenario 
We just have to watch out and see if we're going to get any bandits or anything like that, which there's nothing on the map. And how much do I have? Oh, I almost have enough influence to get another territory. But where is the territory I would prefer to have? These, are, these aren't these are half bad. They're kind of close to each other. It sucks that the animals are just so close to where the stone is. But this isn't terrible. I guess you could build right here. Yeah. It's not bad at all. All right. Well, there was a little bit of a mistake there. I never put anyone in the trading post. I think you need to have somebody in there to actually start a lot of the trading. And I didn't have someone there. So they were not getting the goods, which is why I think I was not getting much of this for shoes because they weren't stocking it. So the person could come by and ended up buying them. It's what I think. I'm not sure if that's for a local. Yeah, there's plus 80. I think that's what it was. I just didn't have that. Uh, oh, wait a minute. We got bandits. Oh, we better pause this for a second. Where are the bandits? All right. He's going to go after them. I should be able to get to them first. Oh, uh, let's see. How are we going to do this? Should we go around here? I'm wondering if that's going to be faster than going through the woods. Nah, let's just get the army going. Rally there i want to get to them before he does he's already got his army out so i want to get to them first yeah i think that's why i wasn't making any money what i need to get is i need to get another ox i kind of want to get a horse as well but we need ox right now can you get one per hitching post didn't i have a second hitching post though I honestly can't remember now maybe i don't well i did have one right there no it's just one per month is all you can get yeah, have somebody in the trading post. That's how you can make some money. Oh, no, don't do this to me again. Oh, they're running. Get that fatigue down. Yeah, I want to get there before he does. He hasn't even formed yet, so we should be able to get there. Stand ground. Yeah, we should be able to get there, no problem. I do need to watch. Oh, I actually think we have enough. Let me check. We got enough? Yep, there it goes. All right, level two. That will give us almost everything that we need. Yeah, he is on the way. But I think we should be able to get most of our fatigue back. Let's have these guys stand here for a second. Let that come back up. There, 103. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, Stone Church. Yeah, I don't have anybody for the church. Let's get these guys going. I actually don't need any more clay at the moment. We got to get them building the church. I'm waiting for them to come out. Once they come out, then I'll stop. I should be able to get to it before they do. You guys gonna come out or not? I'm watching for them. I think they're mustering right there. All right, here we come. All right, what's our effectiveness gonna be at? All right, we're at 114%. And then we are, I don't know if we'll have to go full speed, but we should pretty much demolish these guys. I and mean, they're gonna go so quick. I mean, that initial charge really gets to them. Yeah, wearing them down. All right, Militia, we need to double time it. We got to get there first. See how close they are? They're not going to make it. That is definitely ours. Thank you, guys. And we're going to go near town. And that is it. Now we can take them back. Don't think there's any... There shouldn't be anything else close by. Yeah, there's nothing else. Yeah, we got to get these guys back. Leave it on... If there's nothing else, leave it on run. Yeah, you're going to lose fatigue on it, but it doesn't matter. You're just taking them back into your territory to ban them. Actually, let's get out of the woods. Woods make you go super slow. Once we get them back into our territory, we'll disband them. Get our full complement of people working. I've had it where it won't disband. When I go back into the territory, all I have to do is just click off of it and then the disband hits there. A lot of times that happens. You'll go into your territory and the button just doesn't appear. See, the disband isn't there. You just click off of it and click back on, which we are in our territory. There's the disband. There, now we got all our people back and the church. Yeah, we're still down to six months of fuel. I took the guy off of mining. Oh, that was the clay. I took the guy off of stone. And I think we can get rid of the clay furnace. Yeah, we'll get rid of the clay furnace for now. I can leave one guy on there just to clean things up. That's got stuff in it. That's good. I need another. Uh, oh, I got the ox on the way to help build. Oh, I have three. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. All right, so I have three of them. But yeah, we just got to get this stuff built. We didn't have people to do a lot of building. I still got to put somebody in the tavern. Oh, he's got a lot of stuff to pull out. 
Nobody in the logging camp. I have one person still making firewood because I'm on firewood and charcoal right now because we're just down to six months. We need firewood and charcoal. So I got him bringing all that stuff here. One in the hunting camp. Got no leather though. That's something I got to worry about because I'm actually selling. How far are we down on that? We're down to 33 shoes. Yeah, I just, I need more people. But I don't want to go nuts on that. But I'm just waiting for this stuff to get built. These two, I don't think there's anything left to build besides that in the church. Church is going to take a while. Yeah, see, they just upgraded that. That's going to go to two. That will go to two. Then they're going to work on the church. And then we're done. I think we just have to upgrade. Yeah three of them to level three which requirement not met what's not met tavern i need that but i was waiting for building to get done first before doing that i don't know who else i can pull out of i need to let that kiln go furnace i don't need any right now yeah i think i should pull them off the furnace i need to get that built because i need to get that guy into the tavern but i want this stuff built first it's gonna take a while to build you can see all the goods that it needs, and it's got to build, bring five timber over. So it's going to take a little bit to build. Let's actually speed it up. All right, now that these are built, we need vegetable garden. There. Because that will give us then our third food type, because we need three food types to unlock this. We're missing the tavern, which we're going to put a guy into, and then we're going to have our food. So all we really need is this. And then once he brings in beer... We can upgrade these. We got to upgrade three. So these are going to be two. I don't know what the third one is going to be. Because I kind of wanted to make it close. I don't know if I want to upgrade chicken coops though. I don't think I want to. And I do need to get somebody back on leather. Or I'm going to not make money. I only got two people. Okay, that one can go to level three. Oh wow, the animals moved. Okay. That kind of tells me that I need to think about moving this oh this is vastly different now you know now that i kind of look at it since they did that it might almost be smarter for me to move my mm, my thinking this through right now i'm thinking in the hunting camp maybe it's a good idea that i move the hunting camp over here because i could put there's there's that road right there i could put the hunting camp right here to make it closer for them and then I could move my industry down here, the saw pit and all that. Uh, yeah, I need to get market. I need to build a market right here. I need to build market there. And then water is right here because then I could build the rest of my, yeah, they need market. They're almost done with that. And then they got to build that. I only got three families building. Yeah, I think I need to build a market. That's six. There. So now that market should be able to fill up and supply everybody down here. And then a well is going to end up going right here in this area. I don't know how I'm going to build it yet. I have to plan out my plots, but a well is going to go right in this area. In fact, I don't know. Could it be, can't be put right. Uh, I can go there. I don't know if it needs road. It does. looks like it needs road access. Maybe I should build it right here. Thinking that's what I should do. I think I, I think it needs road access. I'm wondering if I'm building that wrong. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm wondering if I am though. Because then I could put plots right here. And it's got the market. It's got the well. Sadly it doesn't have the tavern. Now that I know this is a little bit different. Build these church here. Tavern. Market. Well. Kind of keep everything together. So it's that learning process. We got three families going. We're up to now... Eight months of fuel. So now the fuel's catching up. The food is dropping a little. So I think once I expand further, I'm going to lose a little bit of the food. All right. That is going at uh, is level three. This needs to upgrade to three. But I don't have anybody working. I had to put somebody in there. I need those to upgrade this to level three. And then I only need one more after that. And we'll be a small town. I don't know which one yet kind of wondering if i should those are the goats probably that one because it's already level two. Oh, that's the brewery i don't think you want to do any industry up to three that's what the mistake that i made here these are threes or twos i don't think you want to do those to threes so this doesn't have anything so it would be actually this one this one i'd want to upgrade to two and then upgrade to three 
And the reason why I want to choose this one, because it's closer to the tavern, to the warehouse and the granary, until I can actually get a market over here. Because you could see kind of, well, they're good on food. Uh, actually good on everything. All right, they're doing good. All right, but I think I'm going to do this one. Fortunately, it's that wood, though. I got 12 timber. It just needs the planks. So we're going to upgrade this one. And that one's going to go to level three. So once these two are threes, we'll then be a, a small town. And then I believe I get... Yeah, I can build my manor. Great, winter's approaching. Do I have anybody working on that? I had nobody working on the forager hut. And I'm down to 44 berries. I might run out through winter. It's actually not good. With the animals now way over here and the berries about to go away, I think I could, over the winter, have an issue. And I'm not sure how long it takes before we actually get any vegetables i don't know okay that one to level three then we just need one more uh why do you not have three types of food i don't know why they don't have oh i wonder if they're look at they only have two they're not getting i wanted to upgrade that to three but they're on the fringes and they're Boy, that is, that is really bad. Sucks. I can't upgrade them until they get the third food type. And I only have three food types. I only have meat, berries, and the berries. I, like I said, I think I'm going to run out of berries before winter's over. I need another food type. I mean, the animals aren't going to be a problem. Finally. Got that upgraded. I had to get somebody in the granary to start collecting up stuff. I just couldn't get that to level three. All right, so that's all level three. Once that gets built, I will then become a small town. And I got to think where I'm going to put this point. I'm really starting to wonder if I'm going to have to get food. So uh, what I'm wondering is if I should build this for honey. Although there was a passive one. That's double the meat, which is kind of good. Doubles the capacity of berry deposits however you know kind of how i look at this a food cart a permanent market stall which provides a passive income of bread i don't actually know how good that is We've got charcoal burning i i honestly don't know i would think it would be okay which provides a passive income i just honestly don't know which one is the best to go with i mean they're all good and i know meat is actually a problem for me now with the animals that have migrated but i think it would probably be smarter to go with this as i would hope that i would be able to get more firewood and more food because i think that's where we're going to run into the hiccup the fuel actually is catching up but i do have two people in there that are actually making charcoal i don't know if i can back off this should build any second now all right so that increased and you know with not having any idea what i should do i kind of feel like if i do go foreign supplies then it's probably going to be better i although do you build that for just the food i don't know which one to take that's a new building you know i'm gonna go with this and we're gonna try this out that was our firewood now we'll go with the food cart all right hopefully that will help us with food and with fuel because if that does, then what I can end up doing is pulling somebody off of charcoal. Because our charcoal is actually catching up. We've got almost a year. And in fact, I should probably pull somebody off that right now. So that these can get done. I don't know if these got to build. Yeah, they do have to build. I don't know if you can build more than one. I wonder if you can build multiple. That's a question. Do you build multiple food and fire carts? Firewood and food? Ah. All right. So we'll get that built. And then we'll see what happens to our numbers here if they stabilize. Yeah. It says abandoned, but there's bread. I wonder if the bread has to go into the granary. I got somebody in there. It's a market stall, but that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, see, it's got a pantry. It's definitely going. Uh, That was... I think a really good move. We'll have to watch 13 and 11 months. Like I said, we have the problem with the animals migrating. I need to think about, because this is sitting here. 
I need to think if I should move the hunting camp. Abandon. I got to abandon the hunting camp and let all the supplies go because I don't want to ruin them. But I should build a second hunting camp here. And that way it'll get to the animals better because they moved way over there. And then as far as the berries are concerned, I have to wait until summer, well, spring. So I still got, it's only December. It's just the start of winter. I have a feeling I, yeah, I only got 10 berries left. I'm gonna run out of berries. Although I got a lot of eggs. That's a kind of a good point. And then once those are done, like I said, I think I should do that. I should move the hunting camp, build the road. They're way back. I hate that save. They're way back there. So what I'm thinking I should do is build it right up here. There's going to be our new hunting camp. So I'm going to actually take these guys off of hunting because they need to clear this stuff out of here when I destroy it or I, why did I do that? Uh, I didn't want to. Did I want to relocate it though? I could just relocate it. Let me demo let me try it. I hate to do this, but I don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it. There are goods on the ground. There's meat on the ground. But I have somebody that will go collect it. We'll get this built. And then these are where you can hunt animals. It'll be a lot closer. There. I'm gonna put two people in it actually right now. But now there's so much closer to the actual animals. So I'm really happy about that. And then we do need a tannery. We need to get that going because we're probably getting low on goods, which is, there's leather. Yeah, we don't have anything. We're not really exporting. I think we're pretty much, yeah, we're down to 10 shoes. We got to get the shoes going. We didn't have anybody in the tannery. So we're not actually making money, but I think we're all set up now. All we need to do is our, Burgage plots. And I think that's what we're going to do next. Once we have this stabilized, then I'm going to expand more for more people, which we're about to do because I am actually at my limit. I'm wasting time. So we're going to do some expansion here. I might put down another vegetable garden. I'm not sure why I'm not getting vegetables. I don't know if it's seasonal. Requires plowing and harvesting labor. I wonder. I'm not exactly certain. I'm not sure why we're not getting vegetables. I honestly don't know. Unless it's just planted in a different time of year. That's a, a good question. Requires plowing and harvesting labor. I am not sure if it's these extra people, but I'm not sure plowing and harvesting labor is. That I'm actually going to have to figure out. But I think we'll figure that out in the next episode. So I will see you guys then. Take care. And thanks for watching.